Hello everyone, welcome back to Gomes Tech Talks channel. In this video, we are going to talk about interface in Business Central. We'll be understanding what is interface, why should we use interface, what is the purpose of using interface and how it can be effectively used. In Business Central AL programming, an interface is a powerful um, concept, okay, the, we can call it as an interface, a powerful thing which allows you to define a syntactical contract of objects. It specifies which capabilities an object must have without dictating how those capabilities should be implemented. This provides a way to write flexible and reusable code by reducing the dependency on implementation details. Interface supports polymorphism. So that is what the main thing. So in interface, it supports polymorphism okay enabling you to call object methods in a polymorphic manner and substitute business logic easily so before we uh, dive into the code and everything let us understand why should we use interface so that is an important thing which everyone should understand why should we use interface okay why should we use so you want to define a clear set of capabilities that objects must have but you don't want to specify how those capabilities should be implemented. Okay, so in that case, you can use an interface. You want to write a code that is less reliant on the details of how objects are implemented, making it easier to adapt and maintain in the feature. You need to achieve code reuse by enabling different objects to implement the same interface and be interchangeable in certain scenarios. Or you want to support polymorphism, allowing you to call methods on objects without knowing their specific types, which is useful for implementing flex flexible logic. So if you are if you are in these situa situations, then you can definitely use interface. OK, so using an interface, what happens if I use an interface? What is my major uh, major? Uh, thing which I will achieve is what the first one is modularity and flexibility okay so interface promotes modularity by separating the definition of capabilities from their implementation which allows you to change or add new implementations without affecting the rest of the code base second important use is what code reusability Okay, so by defining a common interface, you can reuse code across different objects. Okay, you can reuse that across any different objects. Any object that implements the interface can be used interchangeably, enhancing code modularity and maintainability. The third topmost reason why I should use interface is what reduced coupling. Okay, so interface helps reduce coupling between objects, coupling in the sense uh, uh inbound or interrelated okay so coupling between objects which improves code maintainability and makes us makes it far easier to understand and modify the behavior of individual components and also it supports polymorphism okay so using interface enables polymorphic behavior allowing you to write generic code that works with different objects implementing the same interface this facilitates substituting business logic in a clean and seamless manner for example um okay before seeing the example <clears throat> let us understand this like uh, what is the uh, how we can call the interface so it is very simple you have to use t uh, t interface okay so once if you use uh, t interface if you type t interface so here you can see this is what the interface and here you can see the interface code how it looks like it has its own interface interface name and the procedure which you are going to write it okay so it's very very simple you can simply use here uh, t interface okay and you can tell any name for the interface and the procedure so if you type anything here even if it starts with begin or something you know like uh, if you wanted to write something here um so if you just go and check for the t triggers there won't be any trigger because as i told interface in interface you will not be writing any logic okay you will just define what you're going to do 
and here you can clearly see that procedure my procedure cannot have a body okay you cannot implement like you cannot write any logic here you just need to define an interface if you want to use it okay so uh, you have various uh, uh, various examples for interface why we need interface and how we can access the interface and everything okay so important like why i need an in, uh, interface here so first let us understand why should i need an interface okay so for that let us uh, uh, let us assume a simple example here so the simple example is what the one which is vehicle management okay if you take a vehicle management example you need to support for managing a vehicle okay there will be various vehicles if you are it's simply you can consider uh, uh, any uh, any company where the vehicle they are uh, producing a car a truck or a bus or whatever it may be okay it has some common capabilities right so for example you have a common capabilities like maximum speed so every vehicle has its own uh, maximum speed weight okay these are the common methods and maximum payload okay payload in the sense how many people can uh, people can be uh, there number of wheels okay if it is a car how many wheels you can and maximum number of persons num sorry no, maximum number person capacity payload in the sense what are the additional um, additional uh, 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 like uh, like um, things which you can use it okay let us write this here with a clear uh, uh, picture okay if you take any vehicle okay if you take any uh, any vehicle so imagine you will be creating an interface with a vehicle where you will be having max speed where you will just declare you will not uh, you will not uh, write any logic to it you need a weight whatever we have discussed okay blah 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 whatever so every car has the same properties am i right so car has its own maximum speed weight maximum payload number of wheels maximum person and even for truck this these are the common methods or properties and e even if you take bus it has its own methods and properties so instead of again and again writing this for multiple times uh, what we can do is we can create a method there and then we will be writing it okay so what comes here what is the polymorphism comes here is what passing car truck or bus in a variable a vehicle works well so here i'll be creating a simple um, uh, variable so where we can easily use it okay we can easily interface the vehicle interface we can easily polymorphize it polymorphize in the sense you can uh, make it in a many forms okay now different vehicle types could be implemented such as a car a truck or a bus or even if you wanted to add any other heavy vehicles okay you can add it all of which complies with the interface contract okay so everything has its own properties which are based on the properties which we have mentioned in the interface with this scenario consuming code can use the concept of polymorphism to create a variable of type interface and call method on the interface which will work regardless of whether a car truck or bus is passed in the variable so you can imagine this in various thing okay if you take a price calculation if you are you wanted to apply a gst for every any any product then you can create a gst method in a, a interface and you can call it whenever you want it okay so this is a very simple example and another simple example which we can think of is what is like an um, online purchase or a payment okay online payment method you can think of where um, um, for example you have a different payment methods like credit card paypal and bank transfer so each method has its own implementation for processing the terms so what you can do is you can declare the uh, interface in a payment okay so interface i payments i can just make it as every so this is like a um, coding guidelines okay if you're creating a, a interface you will be starting with an i okay so i payment method okay i payment method and inside the procedure i will be creating a procedure called process payment okay 
so process payment i'll be creating a process payment where i can uh, uh, call this process payment anywhere i'll be using a code unit to uh, code unit to call it okay so this is how you can create an interface and now i have already written some codes for uh, you to understand because writing a codes is also taking so much of time so i have already written the code which you can also get it from microsoft learn but i just wanted to explain the code what does that code is talking about and why we are uh, we are using all these things okay so that is where i just wanted to insist upon so what i have did is what the first one i have created an interface uh, i have created an interface called i address provider okay so what we have to create is what uh, create an implement So now what we'll be creating is what uh, the first thing is we'll be creating a interface. Okay, so we uh, so I'll be just telling you the overview of what we are going to do. Got it. So first of all, we will create a uh, interface. Okay, we will create an interface. Second, we will create a uh, two code units. Okay, you can create even one code unit. So just I'm showing you what we can do. We will create two code units that implement the interface. Okay, this code units will implement this interface, and then we will create a page with an action with which will test the interface. okay and before creating a page we'll be creating an enum okay we will also uh, create an enum to support the interface initialization okay this is what we are going to uh, try it now we have uh, i have already written the code first one first step is what creating an interface okay so that that is done here so here i address provider the interface i address provider declares a single method called get address which is meant to return the text value representing an address okay in uh, is this is effectively used to provide different address implementation based on the user selection okay so next one is the interface implementation as i told the first point is over that is creating an uh, interface the second point is we have we are going to create a two code unit okay it's not again i'm telling it's not mandatory to create two code unit but here i'm just creating one code unit which is a company address provider code unit which implements the interface i address provider so here you can see this is an uh, um, interface name and this is a code unit name okay and here you can see the procedure get address colon text because i am implementing the address okay so the i address provider interface here which each of them provides its own implementation but like every code unit has its own implementation okay so here what happens i have call, you can see here that this get address is a procedure which i have declared in the i address okay and uh, it should uh, it is like it is just uh, exiting with a company okay i have just called a method here and second one you can see the code unit which is a uh, uh, private address provider okay so this is an another code unit okay so uh, so both this code units will implement i address provider is implementing i address provider and each will define a different implementation of the get address method so what a dif different one here it is showing my address get denmark so here company address denmark okay company address one is showing the company address and the second one is showing the my like home address okay and the next one is we have to create a page unit before creating a page unit create an enum okay where uh, since we have two types of address right company and a pri um, home address okay so that is what i have created an enum enum is also a separate object in business central al programming so i have created this here and in the page you can see uh, here this in the page you can see that it's all like there is no base table here okay here i am i am creating an action and i haven't called any layout here i am creating an option called what's the address okay and in this address okay so here you can see uh, what is the address the tooltip okay images and everything i have created the two uh, two action one action is to see send to home that is a home address home thing and the second one is to the work work address to access the work address okay well. so what is happening here so here 
in the local procedure i have created a local procedure as well here where it is the address this is the procedure name it is getting the variable here i have declared the variable as well so it is getting the variable i address provider so where i have declared the variable i address provider here okay it is getting the local variable i address provider colon interface i address provider so interface name is also i address provider okay so i am creating a variable here where it holds the interface value okay so here what happens in that uh, company address provider i am calling the code unit company address provider here you can see this is the company address provider and in the private address provider i am calling the private address provider code unit okay if send to so send to is an enum which i have created here which is in this uh, enum you can see zero is for company and one is for private okay if send to is equal to send to double colon so what does uh, what does this double colon means it was a scope okay So this double colon is used as a syntax element for accessing various types of other elements within the object. Okay, it mainly used to refer an element within a table or a page or a coordinate or any other AL object. And since you know that uh, a uh, interface is also an object, we are using it here. So you can access the um, interface code unit here okay so colon company so what is the, here you can see this is the enum value okay this is this is enum value and send to colon company so what is the value we have called here so this is the company if this is company then what you have to do okay which one you have to call you have to call the i address that is company address or if it is not a company if it is a private then you have to call the private address provider okay then you have to assign the value private address provider to the uh, to the interface okay it's very simple and i'm just calling those things into this you can see the action here so in the action sent to home what happens sent to i am assigning this as a private okay if you want to call the uh, value from the enum then you will be accessing it so if you want to access anything from the object you you will be using a double colon okay so i am uh, i am accessing the private and if you wanted to access the company so send to double colon company so we are just calling the company here so let us just try to execute this code and see what happens now okay so here you can see you have an action what's this address okay if you just click company address denmark 2800 so if you click on send to home so if you click on send to home and if you click my home address is 2800 if you click on send to work and if you click what is address company address denmark 2800 can you see the difference here so what is happening here is what what you are passing okay which method you are calling which interface uh, that is which code unit you are calling based on that it is showing you the uh, interface value got it so here uh, in this complete video we have understood what is interface why do we need interface how to implement an interface and again i'm telling you don't want to do write a separate two code unit okay you can even write multiple methods inside a single code unit okay and you can call it based on uh, the math function you are using it here i'm just showing you like you can also create a multiple uh, code unit here okay so based on what coordinate you are using you can call it and i we are just creating an enum in order to easily call the value in order to easily um, uh, assign the value based on the thing which you are calling it okay it's very very simple just try this code i'll be pasting this code in the um, in the github page so please check that and let me know what you think about the interface thank you take care bye bye